What's up guys, it's Koi from Gentleman Within, the place to equip with style to crush it in life. And in today's video, I wanna talk about wearing jeans to the opera. So what to wear to the opera is a commonly asked question among first timers. And as a Gentleman Within viewer, there may come a time in your life where you are invited to an opera or an event similar to that. So when that day ultimately does come, it's good to have an idea of what to wear. And so I myself have not been to the opera, but I'd be lying if I said that I wasn't at least curious. And so this edition of Styling Out features what I would wear to the opera. All right, I don't wanna get into the origins of the opera and the history, don't wanna bore you guys. That's in my blog post, you can check that out. I'll link it down below. So unsurprisingly, the opera conjures up images of a man wearing a tuxedo with a top hat, maybe a monocle and uh, coattails or something like that. And that is just way over the top. And I think Hollywood or the novels have something to do with that. But for me, my thinking was that in today's day and age, a lot more acceptable to wear casual clothing and jeans are a perfect piece that I feel that can be dressed up. But you have to have the right type of jeans. And so talking about dark wash denim, it is a staple that should be in every man's wardrobe because it's a piece that can be dressed up and it's also very comfortable, especially if you have the right pair, stretch denim. So while the opera may seem like it's a black tie type of event, many opera houses around the world and actually in New York at the Met, they don't even have a dress code. And so you can wear whatever you want. You'll see guys wearing jean jackets, you'll see them wearing leather jackets. And so it's very casual and it's acceptable to dress casually and dress comfortably. So with this look, it's a more approachable look but it's still dressed up but still on that casual smart casual spectrum so for the look there's the look that i went with that's me styling out so there's some of the looks from the blog post what i wore and so start up top with the blazer it is a blue tweed blazer and so it's very casual it leans more casual but it's a blazer so it's still dressy so i paired the blazer with an oxford cloth button down and also a necktie a navy necktie and so if you feel that's too stuffy you can remove the necktie and go tieless it's also a good look it's still dressed up then of course i have the dark wash denim down on the bottom and my best pair of oxford shoes and I went for a brown, like dark chili instead of black. So it's more, I don't know, I just like brown. It's a little better color, more versatile, and just not as stuffy as black shoes. Then of course for the watch, I went with my best watch because it is the opera after all. And then for a belt, I went with a casual vegetable tanned belt brown belt that doesn't quite match the shoes exactly but it's still in that same shade same family and so it still works it really is all about the details and so i have a lapel flower a red lapel flower up on the lapel and a pocket square with some stars cotton pocket square so it's very casual maybe a bit patriotic but i like the way it looked and i thought that it's a nice way to pay attention to the little details that can really dress up the denim and the tweed blazer and so overall the look it's just a very smart casual look that i felt was very appropriate for the occasion it's still dressing up for a special event but it's still casual and i feel comfortable wearing it all right so that's what i would wear to the opera and so I hope you guys got some inspiration on what you can potentially wear to the opera when that day ultimately arrives. Yeah, that's all I got. I'll see you guys next week. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, consider subscribing, put out new videos, try to put out a new video once a week. And so that's all I got. Cheers to your style and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.